Mark moves over to the hotel tower. He placed the explosives at the rear of the hotel tower, in the columns nearest the Balmoral property, a place he has dubbed the hinge row. If all goes well, this row of columns will only partially shatter during the implosion sequence. It should look like this. The explosives at the front of the hotel detonate, sending the face of the tower falling forward. The hinge row detonates. The explosives weaken the wall, but it remains intact. It is dragged over, preventing debris from dropping towards the Balmoral condominiums. At the last moment, the hinge wall is torn free from its base by the weight of the wall as it falls. For a few critical moments, the hinge row bears the weight of the back half of the hotel tower. Mark needs a precise amount of dynamite, just enough to bend the hinge row columns without completely destroying them. This is a half a stick of explosives here. The concrete is well fractured on the inside. It's spalled off. But you notice nothing is displaced. Nothing is displaced at all. Both test enough. shots provide critical information. 